Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are entity relationship or ER diagrams in DBMS. First, we will discuss components of ER diagram, how to represent tables in the form of ER diagram, and finally, we discuss what are the symbols used in ER diagram. First, we will see what is the entity relationship uh, diagram. An entity relationship diagram is a conceptual model that gives graphical representation of the logical structure of the database. So this is a conceptual model uh, which is uh, represented in the form of a graph so that anybody can understand the logical structure of the database. It shows all the constraints and the relationship that exist among the different components of the database. Uh, we may have some different uh, constraints in the database like uh, primary key, foreign key or you can say that uh, the composite key. Uh, we may have some different relationship between different uh, parts of the database. All those things are shown uh, with the graphical representation in entity relationship diagram. An ER diagram is mainly composed of uh, following three components, entity sets, attributes and relationship set. We will consider a very simple example to understand all these uh, components. Let us take an example of a student table. The student table has uh, three columns namely roll number, name and age and there are four rows in this particular table. So this entire student table is actually called as a student entity set and individual rows are called as entities. So there are four entities are there in this uh, student entity set. Roll number, name and age are the attributes of this uh, student entity set. The now uh, we will try to understand how to represent a table in the form of uh, ER diagram. The previous uh, student table can be represented something like this. In this case, uh, student is the entity set that is represented with uh, rectangle. Roll number, name and age are the attributes. They were represented with oval. The underline uh, below this particular roll number indicates that roll number is a primary key here. This uh, primary key can be used to identify each row uniquely uh, because uh, we cannot have uh, the repetition of the roll number because this is a primary key and we can have uh, unique values for this particular roll number column. Uh, with this particular uh, unique value, we can identify each student uniquely in this case. Now, what are the different uh, symbols used in ER diagram that we will try to understand? Uh, ER diagram contains uh, several components and uh, each of these components uh, are represented with uh, different symbols. So, components are like uh, entity set, relationship set, attributes. Along with that, we have some constraints like uh, participation constraint specialization and uh, generalization constraints, cardinality constraints and ratios. So all these things are represented with uh, different symbols. We will try to understand those particular symbols one by one here. First one is uh, entity sets. An entity set is a set of same type of uh, entities. An entity refers to any object having either physical existence or conceptual existence. For example, uh, the person, office, house and car have the physical existence, they are called as the entity sets. Similarly, school or a company have conceptual existence, they are also called as entity sets in this case. There are two types of entity sets exist. The first one is a strong entity set and the second one is weak entity set. Now what is the strong entity set? A strong entity set possesses its own primary key. Using this particular uh, primary key, we can uniquely identify the rows or you can say that the data in the table. The strong entity set is represented with a single rectangle. Weak entity set uh, do not possesses its own primary key and it is represented with a double rectangle. So you can see here. The first one is a strong entity set which is represented with a rectangle and the second one is a weak entity set which is represented with a double rectangle in this case. Now coming back to the second one that is relationship sets. 
relationship uh, defines an association among uh, several entities that is how different entities are uh, related with one another that is nothing but the relationship uh, sets a relationship set is a set of same type of relationships there are two types of uh, relationships exist the first one is a strong relationship and the second one is weak or identifying relationship now we will try to understand what is a strong and weak uh, relationship sets a strong relationship exists between two strong entity sets if you have a two strong entity sets you can have a strong relationship and it is represented with uh, a diamond symbol here the strong relationships are represented with diamond symbol a weak or identifying relationship exists between strong and weak entity set that is uh, whenever you want to have a weak relationship set that exists between one strong and another one weak entity set here and it is represented with a double diamond symbol so you can see here the first one is a strong relationship set because uh, it is having a sim single diamond the second one is a weak or identifying relationship set because it is having two diamond symbols in this case coming back to the third one that is attributes attributes are the properties uh, which describes the entities of an entity set uh, there are different ways with which uh, you will represent the attributes these are the different uh, methods uh, there is uh, the first one is the attribute the second one is the multi valued attribute attribute may have uh, multiple uh, values the third one is a composite attribute and so on we will discuss these particular attributes in detail in the next uh, video because it takes a lot of time here coming back to the fourth one uh, there is something called as a participation uh, constraints participation constraints uh, defines the least number of uh, relationship instances in which an entity has necessarily participate there are two types of uh, participation constraints one is a partial participation and the second one is total participation now what is the uh, partial uh, participation that is uh, what we need to understand here partial participation is represented using a single line um, between an entity set and the relationship set total participation is represented using double line between entity set and relationship set here you can notice uh, r is a relationship set and e is uh, the strong entity the partial participation is represented with a single line here in the second case r is a relationship set and e is uh, the weak or identifying entity set the total participation is represented with double line in this case now coming back to the next one that is the specialization and generalization generalization is a process of forming a generalized superclass by extracting the common characteristics from two or more classes so what we do here is we will take two or more classes and we will extract the common characteristics from these and then we will form a superclass that is called as generalization specialization is a reverse process where uh, we form multiple number of classes from the superclass so that is what is called as a specialization in this case the specialization is represented in ea diagram using uh, is a relationship uh, this is represented using you can say that triangle symbol here okay is a specialization or is a generalization uh, symbol this one coming back to the next one that is uh, cardinality constraints or ratios cardinality constraint uh, defines the maximum number of relationship instances in which an entity can participate that is uh, what is the maximum number of uh, relationship instances in which the entity can participate that is nothing but a cardinality constraint here these are the different uh, cardinality constraints uh, uh, symbols the first one is uh, used to represent a many to many relationship that is nothing but the many entity sets can be related with many entity sets so that can be represented with this particular symbol this symbol is used to represent a many to one relationship that is many entity sets can be related with one of these particular entity set 
similarly one to many that is one entity set one entity set can be re, uh, related with many what you can say that the entity sets the last one is uh, one to one relationship one entity can be related with one entity here that is the one to one uh, relationship can exist in this case so in this video what we did is uh, we understood the basic concepts of uh, er diagram first of all uh, what is er diagram what are the different components of er diagram how can we represent a table in the form of er diagram and then what are the symbols used in er diagram in the next video we will discuss each of these uh, components in detail one by one i hope this particular concept is clear if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching